Looking inside the depot, you will notice an important reminder of this country's unfortunate policy of racial segregation. Separate waiting rooms for people of different races. In the early 20th century, this type of discrimination was not only accepted socially, it was proscribed by law. After the Civil War, slavery came to an end with the 13th Amendment to the Constitution. Over the next few years, African Americans had hopes for equality in society when the nation ratified the 14th and 15th Amendments, which demanded no discrimination on the basis of race in the areas of citizenship rights and voting rights. However, by the 1880s, American society proved unwilling to back up these promises with actions. The Supreme Court passed a series of rulings that allowed for these amendments to be interpreted in ways that allowed for discrimination. Segregation laws, named Jim Crow after an early 19th century minstrel act, allowed for legal separation of the races in public accommodations. Then in 1892, Homer Plessy, a man with one-eighth African blood and considered colored under Louisiana state law, refused to sit in a Jim Crow segregated car. Charged with sitting in a white car, Plessy's case gradually wound its way through the American legal system. Four years later, the United States Supreme Court ruled in Plessy v. Ferguson that the doctrine of separate but equal did not violate Plessy's constitutional rights. This ruling allowed restrictive legislation to persist and expand throughout much of the United States. By the early 20th century, the United States was firmly a Jim Crow society. In most public architecture, like this railroad depot, you would see separate facilities for blacks and whites. These restrictions were also extended to water fountains, restrooms, and other public facilities, a legacy of separate but equal doctrine that now had a judicial mandate. This reasoning would remain in place for more than a half a century would not be overturned until the 1954 case, Brown versus Board of Education of Topeka, Kansas.